Hi, my name is John Cordy. Welcome to the channel. If you like modelers and all that sort of stuff, this channel might be somewhat interesting for you if you wanted to like and subscribe. Uh, I thought about what I might like to see out of a video with any modeler essentially, and I guess this is my attempt at doing that. So it's just literally turning on an MG30 uh, from New X, and they did send me this without paying me to make the video, but that's why I've ticked the paid promotion thingy. Um, but I thought. I've done a video where it's just showing the tones, but let's just see what it's actually like to turn on and try and create a preset. Um, now, New X, I think, makes some pretty cool and relatively cheap products, um, and that's kind of what, oh, that's what's interesting about them for me. So, I'm going to start off 15A. I've got a, an empty preset here, and let's get into it. So, I'm just going to start with an empty block. So... Then pressing this button and we get taken to the amp. So uh, what should we start with? Um, I guess I could just show you kind of what's available. So we've got a jazz clean, so like a Roland jazz chorus, deluxe reverb, a bassman, a tweed, a twin, a high watt, uh, a, I guess a Mark II C kind of thing, uh, A15, A30, Plexi, more Plexis. 100 watt plexi, a JTM 45, I guess, and a JCM 800, a Silver Jubilee type thing, Soldano, uh, Friedman HPE, a Dual Rectifier, Diesel, a Vibra King, a Buddha, a Dr. Z, a Super Reverb, uh, a Brit Blues, a Matchless, a Uber, all of this stuff, so quite a lot, and then some bass amps as well. So, I don't know, let's go to this matchless thing, why not? Um, so, that's that block now activated. If I press that, um, then if I press across, we get to the cab. So this is quite cool. Um, I quite like the way their display works. So we can change the mic with this one. So mic options, dynamic mic, uh, Neumann U87, Royer, couple of Royer options, uh, condenser mic 414, another condenser, so a few options mic wise, so I'm going to go for the U87, why not, and again cab wise you've got lots of options, and you can move mics between three positions, so let's just put it uh, center, why not, and so that's the cab, and I think I press that in to activate it, uh, so amp and IR shows up here. Uh, then we can come back to the home. What else can we do? So basically as you go across like this, you can start to add in different things. So wah, compressors, a gate, effects, you know, so like distortion and stuff. Um, this IR here. There's an EQ after the IR send and return which is quite useful uh, mods and delays and reverbs so I'm gonna stick on a, a, a reverb a uh, whole reverb I really like uh, so DK where it is and let's so we press this button in to activate the block we've got a whole reverb And I guess level works like mix, so all the way off, and then all the way up. But again, you've got a quick button to turn off the reverb there, which is kind of useful. Um, and the four controls here. Other reverbs also available. Shimmer reverb, which sounds like this. Or we've got spring reverb, which again sounds pretty decent. Plate reverb, hall and room. So hall, I quite like the sound of. Then delay wise, let's just go over to the delay block. So again, lots of options for delay, analog delay, digital delay. Um, 
mod delay from that's like an Ibanez style tape echo, reverse pan delay which I really like duo time which is like their own pedal that they made the new X duo time I've done a demo of that so I like the sound of the pan delay one. <laughs> I really like the sound of some of these things um, and so I guess that's really the key to this stuff you know can you get a decent tone out of it that's what matters more than anything else to me um, so again drive wise a good selection of drives so what have you got there some sort of MXR style uh, BB style again BB style DS1 style tube screamer blues driver and here's where some of the interesting stuff happens you've got a morning drive from JHS morning glory a rat a red dirt from Keeley, um, Crunch, don't know what that would be, Muff Fuzz, Katana, so some cool options there, so let's try this morning drive. <laughs> now so I'll just turn the volume down and again you can just press EFX to get rid of that or you could assign that to a pedal uh, I'm gonna go to the if I double press delay does that take me to delay yeah if you hold in delay you get taken there which is a nice kind of feature delay level let's turn that down So, kind of cool tones relatively easily, which is a good thing, I guess. Um, I think if we hold in compressor, we can turn that into another distortion pedal, which is a nice little feature. So we could have a, a blues driver, a tube screamer going into a, the other pedal. So maybe I could put the fuzz here. Let's turn that sustain down a little bit. Now if you press R, it goes back to like a default, I think. So let's just put it on. Then if we press comp, that's going to turn that on. And it's going to blow the wheels off. So I guess that's what it's like to actually use uh, on the device itself. Um, I think it's quite a nice thing to use. I think form factor wise it, it looks similar to a Hotone Ampero. I kind of like the display of this. Uh, it gives you... I like the display of this. It gives you um, kind of a fairly clear sense of what you're using so again if I just press these buttons you can control the blocks individually so let's just try putting on you know a tube screamer into the morning glory <laughs> And then if I press save, I can save that. So this part is not necessarily super intuitive. Uh, so I'm saving to 14D and what I use this. So I'm going to call it gel because <laughs> that's easy. And then press save, it saves that block there. Um, and then control at the moment does a tap tempo. So... <laughs> But I 
I think the, the chord sounds there are really good. So that's that's one of the things that I think is important. Then if we press down here, we can control what the pedals do, the pedal assignment. So the wah turns on Clyde wah. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how this stuff works at the moment. But you can connect in an extra pedal here, two and three, and that's, I guess, what you're doing here. So you can turn on the, the drive or the effects, and they're assigned to buttons two and three. Um, so yeah, I think there's probably plenty more you can do with this if you want to get into that. But these are just the kind of the, the sounds that the device can make. Obviously, you can go into add EQ, you can go into do all the normal stuff that you might want to do, but I think the core tones are kind of there and they're, they're decent sounding, so... <laughs> So that was hopefully vaguely useful for getting some idea of how it is to actually hands-on use the device or how easy or difficult it might be to build a tone. Um, so simply to go and quickly change these things, I can add in an EQ um, and you press one or two to get to the next part of the what's going on here. And obviously those correspond here. So I could give like a 1.2 kilohertz boost. If I press two, I get to these other controls. There are also other EQs, like a 10-band EQ here, which is useful, or parametric EQ even. So that's really cool. Uh, if you're holding these, you get a looper and all that sort of stuff, which is potentially fun for people. And the drums sound a certain way, but I think they might be useful for practice. Um, this looper part here works kind of like a ditto looper. Um, and then you can double press to exit any of this stuff. Uh, same with tuner. So it's fairly intuitive, I think. And I think it's useful to have these shortcut buttons to do whatever here. So you can turn off EQs, you can turn off mods and stuff. I've not got too much into the foot switch assignment yet. Is it certainly a useful tool for home use? I think so. I think there's a, a good argument that this is really decent for the money. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. If you want to like and subscribe, you could. And I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers.